this morning I will be headed to the Levy at the National Wildlife Preserve. I hop on in Wellington and I usually ride down to Boynton Beach. This basically runs along a big ass canal that separates the refuge from the dirt road. And as long as no deer jump out at me, I'll be pretty good. If you do the whole loop here, I measured it out using Strava. It's like 70 miles. If you just circle around the refuge. I've never done it before, but on a map, most of the trail I believe is like this. So you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. I believe it's mostly just the Levy Road all the way around. It's also, if you take it just straight south, instead of going around, you could take this all the way down to uh, Markham Park. I'm not sure the distance, but I think it's like 50 miles, or it could be less, maybe, it could be, I don't think Markham Park's that far. It could be like 30, if you just take it straight down. And then from there, you have access to uh, all those trails that go down to Miami, into the Everglades, the Fakawi trails down there. Never rode them myself, but I gotta build up my uh, endurance if I wanna get down there from here. So I think I pitched that. I thought I was recording to get over here, but this is a little walkout. Get an idea what this canal looks like. Probably like hundred million gators in here. Alright, almost to my destination point. To be Lee Road in Boynton Beach. This will be my turnaround point. And it continues back around. Nice. So off the Levy Road is a, a dirt road. It's like a nature trail that'll take you back on the Levy. That's going around. So just another way to get back on and get off the Levy. These trees are pretty cool. I'm going to the left. We go north. Gators in here too. Yeah, keep your head on the swivel. There's a sign back there that says, Don't feed the gators. Believe it or not, people actually feed them. Hence the reason for the sign, which is crazy. front of us is the access back to the levee that this trail took me to. Back on the levee. Looks like there's some vultures blocking away. Time to play chicken. Uh, they're holding firm. Bye-bye. <laughs> I don't even see anything over here. Hello. Maybe they're following me. And into the tree they got. Alright. Still make my way back. Heard this start. I've never been out here in Olivia. The National Wildlife Preserve. 
you can expect some pretty good gravel grinding. Uh, the road is like shell rock and uh, it's pretty compact. I've been out here once where it was kind of uh, a little bit not as compact but it's been good so far. I guess it depends on the on how dry it gets out here but today and most days it's like this it's smooth going for the most part definitely don't need three inch tires <laughs> but I'm doing me right now <laughs> and uh, I would say two inches is more than enough tire uh, to get through here my friends are back Every time I come back on this ride, they greet me. It's my welcome back party. Except for this one. Who's gonna move? Show off. <laughs> uh oh, the circling. Just hit the 25 mile mark. Alright. Coming to the end. And this is going to be the access point in Wellington. I think it's at the end of 50th Street South. The 150th. But this is it. Barriers here for vehicles. Ah, continue to make my way back. A little bit of dirt road. And a little bit of that horse trail to go. Uh, yeah, this is horse country. Word to the wise. If anybody ever asks you, oh, I know some good off road trails to go ride a bike that's used for horses, don't go. This is the reason. This has got to be the worst part of the trail. And this is probably why horse people and mountain bikers can't get along on the same trail. <laughs> I'm joking, but it is uh, definitely a trail that is not good for sharing. I've been on some other horse trails that are not that bad, but this is... This is really bad.